everybody, we are at Epcot. Yeah, so brand new map because we have brand new epic things happening. So, it's gonna be a busy night. Yeah, so in World Celebration, Dreamers Point. So first off, happy 122nd birthday, wow. Walt Disney, as we would not be here if no. it wasn't for December 5th, 1901. 1901, and my grandpa was born in 1902, so very, very close. And to top things off, so we have a new fireworks show. We now have the spectacular, luminous, the symphony of us taking place of Harmonious. So that's just crazy. Check it out. There's a lot happening a today. Lot to do. So I we are going we to see all. what we can fit in, but number one is we got to wish happy birthday to Walt. Happy birthday to Walt, and then we got to check out some new food. A lot to do. And one more birthday today. Happy birthday to my brother-in-law, Ken, Ken, as he shares happy birthday. birthday with the one and only. All right, thumbs up. Let's hurry. We got to go. Rush, rush, rush. Go, go, go. Seeing all kinds of lights happening here, and we think we may have some new up lighting. Why, do you know for sure we have new lights on Spaceship Earth and we have new songs? It's right by Creations, but here's the line if you want to get a picture with Walt. Actually, I think the line goes way over here. Yeah, so it starts here and then it kind of wraps around. So we can either see how long the line is now or come back. Oh, this is slam. But more walls are down. Oh my god, there it is. Oh, there it is. How cool is that? Oh. All right. There he is. That looks fantastic. Hey, Walt, happy birthday. The most exciting, the far, the most important part of our Florida project, in fact, the heart of everything we'll be doing in Disney World will be our experimental prototype city of tomorrow. We call it EPCOT, spelled E-P-C-O-T, Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. Okay, picture with Walt complete, and we got a little video with them. So how exciting was that? It was a bit of a wait, it took about 40 minutes. But now let's check out the new one, the new area, which I Andrew might will be tell a little you. moist. And so all this was wow, it's cool. All this was like blocked off and now it's all open. Look at this area. It's cold right there. Oh, loving these lights too. I love how the ground lights up. That's just extra. just hiding back here behind all the walls. Okay, here's Connection Garden from this view. It looks, wow. Yeah, so cool. All right, we're loving it. And we're loving how they always are adding to Epcot. Well, Just like Walt said, Walt the park said, is never finished. The park will never be finished. As 
long as you have an imagination. An imagination. Yeah, nothing to see here. We gotta quickly walk through. Yeah, nothing to see. Yes. Of course there's something to see there. <laughs> but we are starving, that so we're... That never gets old, does it, everybody? It couldn't possibly. Okay, we have the sushi Christmas tree. Look at that. Sushi tree. We each got one of them. Doesn't that look lovely? That looks amazing, actually. And then we have a uh, Sapporo beer. So give that a little go. Very good. Very good, and we're starving. Yep. All right. Sushi for the win. Sushi Christmas tree. Very delightful. Yeah, that looks lovely. Oh, sushi Christmas tree. That's really good. It's got a little tangy spiciness to it, but not too much. And it's got the little, um, looks like boba balls. Yeah, I call them boba balls, but I'm not exactly sure if that's what. And then I don't know if that's the eel sauce, but oh, this is yeah. very good. The eel sauce is probably the flavor that I'm tasting the most. Yeah, I'm really liking this, so glad we got it. I'm still, glad we got two. Yeah, we're still hoping to try other food, but the lines are really insane. But thumbs up for this one. All right, we're in the American Pavilion. Look at this tree. They have their own tree. And it's a fine tree. Look at it. It's a good old American Pavilion Christmas tree. It's got like the red and white bows. And the line doesn't look too terrible. The American Holiday Table has all kinds of good things. So we have turkey, we have catfish, it has the gingerbread cookie. Yes, all three. Look at this spread. We have a beer flight, holiday beer flight. Turkey, look at that, that's a lot of turkey. Holy cow. And then we have a catfish. Black and catfish. Black effect catfish. Gingerbread cookie. Look how cold that looks. And the beers are a ooh, Crooked Can Brewing Company. Three Daughters Brewing, they've had those before. Oh, Eggnog White Porter, that'll be good. Peppermint Chocolate Stout. And that looks like a Ba Humbug. <laughs> no, Ba Humbug <laughs> IPA. All right. Eggnog Porter. It's a little like eggnog. Peppermint chocolate. Oh, all right, I like the peppermint chocolate. How is the food? So the blackened catfish is really good. It does definitely have a little spice to it with the blackened. It looks really but good. It is pretty good, but it does have a little spice to it with all this involved, but it has good flavor. Okay. Alright, that's a very good turkey. And they give you a lot of turkey. I'm not sure what's all under. Oh, stuffing. Okay. Here, let's try a bite of stuffing and turkey. Andrew just tried the beer. Was it the peppermint? That was the peppermint, and it actually was pretty good. Yeah, the peppermint's not bad. But to go back to the turkey bowl, so we swat bowls. The mashed potato that is under the turkey is fantastic. It's got like some unique flavor to it. I can't put my finger on it. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, the stuffing to me is just a little, it's stuffing. Uh, but the turkey's really good and it's got onions in here. Yeah, and it's like all white turkey breasts and they give you a lot of it. But I've just dove into the catfish. Really spicy, but look at that. Very good. So, thumbs up for all this. Uh, the beers are even good. This has a slight eggnog flavor. All right, so man down. Unfortunately, the poor little guy lost his feet. We lost his feet and we're it, about to lose a hand. <laughs> Here's a poor beheaded gingerbread. So, we've had three of the cookies so far. So we've had the Linzer, and we had the spiced chocolate, and now the gingerbread. Gingerbread is sadly gonna be moving yeah. to third place. So it's going, for me, it's Linzer spiced ginger. 
Yeah. This is good, but not a lot of flavor. So yeah, this will be third. I'll eat it though. seen more people at Epcot ever. Look at this. I'm so sorry. Holy cow. Looks like everybody is trying to head one direction at once. Now, all transparency, the uh, candlelight procession just let out for the <laughs> oh, 715 yeah. show, so that is why. <laughs> that's true. But this but is look at this. insane. That's, that's insane. It's insane. <laughs> oh look at this. Wow. So you can this, see the tree. You can see Spaceship Earth. But and this line right here is for the last line. final showing for the next show huge line wow and we're in is that china All right, right now? mr stamos is turning out the crowd here look at this scene here <laughs> you got the tree all right we're in yukon we're gonna go ahead and try the beef organon snickerdoodle and then they have some drinks we are in Canada. Okay, we are in Canada. We have the beef bourguignon and look at this snickerdoodle cookie. That looks fabulous. The beer says peanut butter banana and I was really excited about this, but so far I'm not getting much of a hint of peanut butter or banana. Well, I when I took a drink of it, it was the lingering flavor I got that was banana. It's very I'm not subtle. Sure I get either. It's very subtle. Dive into the little stew. So beef bourguignon should have a heavy, like a wine taste. Did we get any meat? Yeah. The meat is very tender. Oh, there's a piece. Okay. Is that the bourguignon? Yes, it was a Julia Child recipe. So red wine Julia Charles. and a beef stew. It kind of tastes like a smoky beef. Yeah, a lot of smoky flavor to it. Oh, mushrooms are in there. Yeah, I'll try carrot. It's okay. So to date, the best stew is in Belgium. They had like a beer braised stew. So, so good. But I do really enjoy the mashed potatoes in here. Well, there we go. Okay, on second thought, what I really like in here is these mashed potatoes. They have like skin on, so that's really, really good. 
So, but Andrea is about to dive into the cookie. So, first of all, it's like as big as my head. Hmm. Okay. Oh boy. It looks really good. I don't know how to do it without it like. Maybe just break it. Yeah, there you go. It's huge though. Gosh, it looks like. I mean, if it is half as good as it looks, it's, it's going to be a winner. All right. We may have a problem. Oh, with their ranking? The Linzer. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's going down. It may be a tie between the Snicker Doodle and the Linzer. I don't know if it's good enough to knock it off the pedestal, so I think they're going to be equal. Okay, so recap your four then. Linzer was one. So Linzer, right behind or next to, is a Snicker Doodle. Right, it's a one and one. Then the spiced chocolate iced cookie. And then down in the barrel right now is the poor gingerbread. The poor footless gingerbread. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a very thin cookie. Well, that tastes, you know what it tastes like? It's more like a peanut butter cookie. Okay. But I think it was just well, the outer rim that's really... Well, I'll take that whole thing. Yeah, it's just really like, it kind of looks like it just spilled over. Yeah, it's a, it's this is a good cookie. So we do have Ziploc bags with us. No, That's I brought coming a whole container. Us. Oh yeah, we have a container. Never mind. That's coming home with us. Is there peanuts? Well, yeah, Snickers. Okay. Peanuts. I'm kind of with Andrea, where I kind of think this is a tie now with the Linzer, because I really like the Linzer, but I really really like this. So they may be like one in one. Yeah. And just like the gingerbread, it's coming home with us. Yep, that's going in our purse. All right, we're entering the United Kingdom. I don't think we showed this in our last video, but they have the lights and garland everywhere. So it's looking extra sharp. The rose and crown has the lights on the outside. But look at this street down here. Look at this street. All right, that's pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay, we did manage to get Lahayam too. The first time we went by, it was super busy, so we came back. We got the pastrami, and then the black and white cookie, potato cakes, and the whiskey sour. It looks like a frozen, so all looks good. The potato cake good? You glad you got it? I'm glad I got the potato. I almost didn't. It's nice and hot, flavorful, tasty. I don't know what. It's like a little, maybe a little dilly sauce on top. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's good. One potato, two potatoes. Oh, it looks like it's steaming. Too. It, it's hot. Yeah, so the pastrami is actually really good. So, all right, so that's good. Let's try this little whiskey sour. Oh, that's really good. And it's a frozen. Give that a little go. You might like that. Mm. I think because it is frozen, I like it. All right. I don't know if I'll I would like it if it wasn't. If you're a potato? Oh, wow. See, that's good. <laughs> I had to talk her into this. She didn't want it. Well, the way it was described, I literally thought it was like a brick or chunk of potato, and I didn't know what I was getting into. Yeah, this is all good. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to bite into it so I can get both flavors. And you're kind of lit up. We have a spotlight. Doesn't have... A whole lot of flavor. Um, I taste like mostly icing, and it may have like a little lingering of lemon. I don't know if it's just me or Ooh. maybe I'm just weird. But I don't well, know. This one kind of might be along the lines with the gingerbread. Oh, sadly. The bottom. Interesting texture on the top, kind of like uh, a hostess cupcake. Hmm. I can see the hint of lemon. 
No surprise, I like the chocolate side better. But yeah, it would be um, above the gingerbread. Um, yeah, it would probably be second from last. <laughs> but it's still, I mean, it's not bad. We'll take it home, we'll eat it. Oh, well, yeah, we're eating all the cookies. Yeah, for but sure. We just wanted to give you a little ranking. Everybody's yep. different, but that's just ours. And I think this is the last cookie we're trying.
is the night. So I hope you enjoyed the new Dreamers Point and all the new additions. The walls are down, everybody. And we will say we saw a luminous new show. And this is just my opinion. I enjoyed Harmonious better. And why can't we get Walt's voice like Disneyland? Yeah, I don't know. That's just my yeah. opinion. He could be in every display, honestly. Yeah. I mean, they could kind of take the best from everything and put it all together. But we but came out to do what we wanted. Good. We came out to see uh, the Walt statue. We got the remaining food and cookies we wanted. We even got to hear a little bit of the candlelight procession of oh, yeah. John Stamos, Uncle Jesse <laughs> himself. So, great right. time. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out all these people. We'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye. Look at them all. Holy moly, that's a lot of people. <laughs>